Hi everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In this video, we wanted to show you how to build a digital notebook with Notion and keep track of all your notes in different notebooks. So let's get started. Let's start by opening an empty Notion page and we're going to title this Digital Notebook. And let's add a cover photo. Press change cover and we're going to go to Unsplash for a huge library of stock images. And we're going to go with something that's landscape and we're going to reposition it like this and we're going to add an icon let's go with this document and then we're going to go ahead and go to the top right hand corner where you can do small text full width so that you just have more space on the page and then we can start planning this digital notebook so in this notebook we're going to have two two columns and on the left side we're going to have notes and on the right side, we're going to have our notebook. So let's go ahead and type slash column. So we're just going to have notes on this side and notebook on this side. And it's really good to just type these out so you have them as placeholders because otherwise you'll just lose the column. And on this side, we're going to go with a table view database. So you can go ahead and type slash table and choose table view and then plus new database. And then let's title this notes. And then on this side, we're gonna make our gallery view database. So we're gonna type slash gallery and plus new database as well. And then here you can put notebook, notebooks. And then let's go ahead and move this a bit so we have more space for our gallery view and less on the notes side. And now what we're going to do is to see what kind of properties are in our notes database. So we're going to go ahead and open one of these and let's name this note one. And we see here that the default comes with tags, which can be quite nice for notes because then you can categorize them based on what type of notes they are. So it could be a meeting note. It could be an outline. It could be study notes, and so on. And you can change the color of these multi-selects by going to the three dots here. And we can just change it so they don't have the same colors. And let's say this is a meeting note. And then what we want is the date so that you know exactly when you had these notes. So we can go ahead and click date and we'll just put today. And now we have note one. And the contents of the notes are going to go in here. So you could type whatever you want in this area. So now we have note one and let's check on the notebook side. So with the notebooks, we can delete this default that comes in here. It also comes with tags and a created. So we don't really need the created and we're going to delete this one. And tags could be useful depending on whether you also want to categorize your notebooks. But for now, we're just going to delete these. So now we can title this notebook one. And let's go ahead and add a cover photo here as well. So we can change it to something that's a notebook. And let's choose this one. So now we have one notebook here and let's now adjust the layout settings. So we're going to go to layout and then let's go ahead and hide the database title. So it looks cleaner. And then we're going to change the card preview to page cover. So now we can see inside with the cover photo. And for now, for us, card size medium is okay. We don't need the other settings. So this is okay. And now let's actually retitle this, so rename, and we're gonna call this Notebooks. And then let's go ahead and fill in the other two notebooks. So we have three notebooks total. So Notebook 2, and we're gonna add cover. And choose another notebook picture. Let's go with this one. So now we have three notebooks here. And now what we need to do is link our notes with our notebook. So for that, we're gonna open this note 
and we are going to add a property that is a relation and we're going to relate it to notebooks and let's show it on notebooks for now so we can see everything and add relation but we're going to relate it to notebook one so now if we go to notebook one we should sh see that it has note one and now we can show as and minimal so we don't see this here and now what we're going to do is actually create a default template that's going to show up when you click inside notebooks. So we're going to go here to this arrow and we're going to add new template. And we're going to call this new notebook. So this is something you can choose whenever you have a new notebook or an empty page. And we want to show a linked view of these notes so that you're going to type slash notes, uh, actually slash linked view and then you can choose notes and now you can see everything here and we're going to sort it by this title so that whenever you get this new notebook it's already sorted by the notebook so we're going to click filter notebooks and then you can choose new notebook and save for everyone and let's also go ahead and sort sort it by date so we're going to click sort date and save for everyone. And also we should hide this title so it looks cleaner. So we can also do a layout, then hide the show database title, and then we can go back. And now what we can do is when we click in here, the new notebook, we're gonna see the notes like this. And now what you notice is that we can see which notebook it's tied to. And we don't really need to see this column. So we can actually go back and adjust this by going to the three dots here. And then we are going to edit it. And let's go ahead and click this three dots here and go to properties. And then we're going to hide the notebooks. So now we remove that column. And if we go back to notebook one and we delete this, so you have to delete it or it's not going to update and then we're going to click new notebook again and we see it without this extra column and it looks way cleaner so now we have notebook one and these are the notes sorted by notebook one or filtered by notebook one and now let's also add the sort to our notes so we're going to go to the three dots here and we're going to click sort and let's sort by date and save for everyone and let's go ahead and add two more notes, note two and note three. And let's actually hide the notes title here. So we're gonna go to layout and then toggle the show database title so it looks cleaner. And now what we can do is link it to the other two notebooks just so we can see them there. So let's go ahead and add this one to notebook two. And let's choose a date here as well and a tag. And let's actually do the same here as well, or it's already filled in here. So we're going to also do it here. So this is going to be notebook three. We're going to choose a date and let's choose a tag. And let's click into notebook two, new notebook. And we see it, the filtered notes here. And then we're going to do the same in this one. So that's the basics of a digital notebook. And we're going to take this one step further. And we are going to show you how to make a template inside of these notes so that you don't have to continuously copy paste. So let's say you have the same format for every meeting note you have. Then you could go to this arrow here and then click plus new template and call this meeting note template. And let's say each meeting notes have a summary, who you talked with, takeaways, and so on. So this is really up to you what kind of meeting note you have and system you have. But let's say that this was your basic meeting note. Then we could go back. And then when you open note one and you 
you have a meeting that day and you need to take notes, you could just click meeting note template and the format is already there for you. So this is a really good way to save time if you always have the same format for a certain type of note, whether it's meeting, whether it's outline, whether it's a study note. So we highly recommend you to set up your templates here depending on what kind of note you have. So that's one technique we wanted to show you. And then the other thing is if you want a quick way to just add notes, then something you can do is also add a button here. So you can type slash button and you'll make a button and let's call this new note. And let's make it a plus sign. And we're gonna add the step, which is to add a page to your note. So add page two, and we're gonna add it to note. And we're gonna name this new note. And you have the choice to also edit other properties if you'd like, but we're not gonna do that here because you don't know yet which kind of note you want or notebook you want if you just click a new note. So we're just gonna leave this like this. And then the other step, we recommend is to open page and then you can open in a center peak immediately right after you add the note you want to open new page added and done and then we're going to click plus new note so now immediately you can add note number four and choose what you need to choose here and then add note templates if you have or just empty the default with the default and you have yourself note four. So this is the basics of creating a digital notebook. We hope that this was helpful for you. If you'd like the completed version of this template, we'll leave the link for that in the description. And we also have some note taking templates over on our store and we'll leave links to that as well. If you have any questions, comments, or anything confusing about what we went over, let us know in the comments and we hope to see you in the next video.